What's up everybody? Today we're going to build and release an Android app. So before this, I started to try to make code magic work with CICD and everything, and you see I failed three times, and I was like, screw it. All right, we're going to learn how to just build and release an Android app normally, and same with iOS, so we know what the process is for all of that. And then once we understand all that, we'll be able to dive into CICD because we know what this actually is doing in the background and all that. All right, so let's get into this bad boy. We're basically going to follow this documentation and probably run into the problems. I remember the last time I ran into some problems. So we'll see how to solve them and everything. So right, first things first, it's adding a launcher icon. You can Google Android icon generator. Sorry, I don't understand. What? I wasn't talking to you. And you'll get this, Android Asset Studio. So here we can import an image. Background color, we want it to be the same as this. So we can use tools like Color Picker, where you pick a color, and there you have D6EADE. Then we can close it and paste our color in there. Okay. So there we go. That's our icon for Book Club. And then over here, you could download a zip file. And then you can go to your book club app, then Android app, source, main. So once you have your book club files, you can go and get these MIP map values and then copy paste them over here. And it's gonna ask you if you want to replace them, click replace, 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 apply to all, replace them. Then you can delete that book club folder and make sure you update your Android icon to the name you gave it. So if you keep it IC launcher, you shouldn't have a problem. But if you don't, make sure you update it and then it should be fine. And there we go, our app launched. Let's see. Our icon should be updated at the top here. Yes, it is. And if we close it and we look for our app, there we go, book club. So actually it looks kind of ugly here. I think we should have done the circular one. So I'm going to do that real quick and be back. All right, there we go. Let's take a look. And circular one looks a lot better. You check it out here. There we go. Much better. Time for the next step. And that is signing the application with the key store. So now if we try that again, hopefully it will work. You don't have to put the information in if you don't want to. Is this correct? Yes, it is. And there we go. So we have a key generated in our users in this folder. So we can keep the key there. But now in the Android folder, we need to create a key.properties file. So in here, we need a new file called key dot properties inside we can copy paste all this add in our passwords and we can just copy that location okay save it close it and on to the next step. So our Android app and this build.gradle before the Android, we need to add the location of where our key is stored. So we're gonna copy this, paste it here. Then in the release type, you know, we should see debug. And instead of debug, make it release. Next, we need to add some signing configs before the build type. So over here, right after default configs, we add the signing configs. And we sure need to change anything because all these are stored in the key.properties. So then we need to review our app manifest and label is gonna be the name of our app. So we gotta make it the official name. It's gonna be book club. Add the Android permissions.internet if we need internet access. We definitely will need internet access. So in here we could add the user's permission of internet. 
And let's see what's next. We're viewing the build configuration. So the build dot gradle, which is where we're at. Make sure our application ID is right. It is. Version code and version name. Version code, Flutter version code, integer, Flutter version name. I think that is in our pubspec.yaml. Yep. So it takes this from our pubspec.yaml. We don't need to do anything. Minimum SDK version, target SDK version. I think that's good. And now build the app for release. So you can build what is called an app bundle. This makes it really easy to upload it to the app store. All we need to do is get our terminal back and do flutter build app bundle. And there we go, our app is built. So it says this, we had some problems with our cloud Firestore plugin. Well, it's just a warning, not an error. Unchecked or unsafe operations. I think it's because our rules aren't updated in the Firebase, but whatever, we can update them later. Obviously, if you're doing a production app, you should make sure the rules in here are updated. But for us, we have our app and there it is. This is our application. All right, so you should probably test it on your device first, but we're gonna put it into beta first. So that's gonna be our test. And the next step is to put the application on a Play Store. So a Google Play Console to put up an application costs $25 as a one-time fee. And, but then you can create as many apps as you want. So English is a default language. Book Club is an app name. And I'll take you step-by-step step on how to create that app. So I need to create a high resolution image, 512 by 512. So I'll do that real quick. So, all right, that created the image. Drop it here. Looks great. Uh, and I forgot we need screenshots. All right, we're able to copy paste the feature graphic now. Success, application type, applications, category, books and reference. You need to fill out a content rating questionnaire. You must upload an APK before questionnaire. So let's create a beta, create release, continue. And then we can finally put our app bundle in here. Great, it worked. So we have our release name, what's new in here, initial release. So the error message is we haven't selected all the countries and that's, we'll be doing that in pricing and distribution. So we'll get back to that. If we go back to the store listing, content rating. So now we can do the content rating since we uploaded the APK. Okay, so we get back to the store listing after we did that. Provide an email. Okay. Two more check marks that we need. So you have to have a privacy policy URL. So while I was editing, I thought I'd do a better job on the privacy policy. So there's this website called termly.io and here you just fill out a bunch of forms and it basically generates a privacy policy for you. And then the link you could do is you could go to your app or whatever in GitHub and create a MD file and then paste it in here. And now you can copy this and paste it into your, and you can paste it into your privacy policy so you're not really cheating anything. And there you go. Ads, doesn't contain ads. App access. 
So we need to create an account so that it could be used by somebody. Okay, so now we can give those credentials. Test account. Username slash phone number book club at gmail.com. Password one, two, three, four, five, six. Apply and save. Okay. Target audience and content. 18 and over. Next. Next. Save. And there we go. We got the green check mark. And now pricing and distribution. We're going to do all of them. Actions on Google, content guidelines, application. Yes, yes. Save. All right. And then here, if we refresh, start rollout to beta. Confirm. Make it open beta testing. And there we go. It's waiting. It's pending publication. So now we just got to wait on the Google Play people to approve or disapprove this app and we're done now we know the steps involved with adding a app to the play store normally and as we learn about CICD we'll know all of this will be done automatically for us also Android is a little bit easier than for iOS but in the next video we'll do the manual way for iOS as well then once we understand how both of them are done manually we'll be able to implement CICD does this all automatically for us and we don't have to worry about it but anyway, that's it for this video. Make sure to like, subscribe, and share if you enjoy the video. And thanks for watching.